a very common task in Excel is to add up a group of cells. For this, we can use a couple of different formulas. The first is sum, which simply adds up uh, whatever is in a selected group. Next is sum if, which sums up a group based on a certain criteria. And then sums, sum ifs, which adds up the data based on more than one criteria. In this next lesson, we'll demonstrate all three. Now, let's look at the sum function. The sum function creates a total of a group of cells. So as you will see here in the workbook titled Data, on the worksheet called Dividends, you'll see this data. And this is a group of dividends that were paid during March sorry, January and March of 2016 for these securities, HIO, MYI, NAD, and these are the amounts. So in this case, I want to see the total dividends that we collected during this time period. So we would use the sum function. Again, with our equal sign, type in sum, and then select the cells that we'd like to sum. And you'll see that that comes out to $207.26. That is the total dividends and interest that were collected during this time period. Now, in this particular spreadsheet, if we were to continue to add to it, say throughout the months of the year, add more cells, we would have to take these cells, move them down, and then as new securities came in, it could add them, but it has to automatically update, which depending on your version of Excel, it might not. So in our case, I'm going to undo those. We're going to move this. So let's just move these over here. And those are the total dividends that were paid. But now, let's, instead of using these, let's use the entire column D. And now, we don't have to move it ever. And if we buy a new security that pays us a dividend, it'll automatically add it to the total. And that is the sum function. Next, we will go ahead and take a look at the sum if function. Now let's move on to the sum if function. The sum if function is used when we at want to add up a series of numbers but only based on a certain criteria. In this case we're trying to add up the dividends per security. So if I take a look at HIO, we're going to begin with HIO, which is this symbol right here, and I want to add up all the dividends for HIO. So we're going to come here to H5 equals sum if, open our parentheses. Now the range. The range is where we're going to match the criteria. In this case, we're going to highlight the entire column C. And hit comma, criteria, and what are we looking for? So the criteria that we're looking for, and we want to sum all the matches, would be HIO, because that's the symbol we want to add up all the dividends. And then comma, and then the sum range. The sum range is everything that we want to add up. In this case, it's the dividends, so that would be in column D. I'm going to hit enter, and now that sums up all the dividends for HIO. Well, let's check our work. So I'm going to hold down the control key, and I'm going to select all three of the dividends that HIO has paid and we look here in the bottom, $135.91, $135.91. We know our formula is working. So let's go ahead and do the same thing we're going to do for MYI and NAD. Now because we highlighted the entire column, we can just drag that down. And once again, I always like to check my work, so let's use what we learned in the last lesson. Let's use the sum function. I'm just going to highlight those three. And look, they match. 20726 and 20726. So we know that our formula is working for all the dividends are accounted for in the totals. And that is the sum if function. Now we will take a look at the sum ifs formula. The sum ifs formula works similarly to other formulas we've used in the past, like sum and sum if. The difference is sum ifs uses more than one criteria for summing data. In H2, 
we see that we've summed everything that was in column D, all the dividends that were paid. In column H5, if we take a look inside that cell, we'll see that we've summed all the dividends that belong to one criteria, and that criteria was the symbol HIO. Next, we're going to sum all the dividends paid per security, but now we're going to distinguish by month. So we're going to add a new formula here in column E. So let's widen that a tad, and this is going to indicate the month of the year that the dividend occurred in. So the formula is simple, and it's equals month, and we're going to reference A2, because this is the cell we want to indicate what the month was. And what it's going to return is a number between 1 and 12 that is going to correspond to the month of the year, 1 being January, 2 being February, 3 being March, and so on. Excellent, there we go. So next, let's go ahead and take and copy. So we're going to right-click copy these cells, and we're going to paste those down just a few in cell G13. And we're going to paste. Now, along the top here, starting in H12, we're going to type in 1, 2, and 3. And hit Enter. And that's going to indicate which month of the year that that dividend occurred in. So now let's use the sum ifs formula, sum ifs, open our parentheses, and now what do we want to add up? Well, we want to add up the dividends that happened in column D. Now what's criteria range 1? This will be the range which we're trying to match the first criteria. Let's use month, and that's going to be column E. And now what is the criteria? Criteria 1 would be the month of the year. Next, criteria range 2, and that would be where the symbols occur, and that's in column C. And next, the criteria 2, and what is it we're trying to match? We're trying to match the symbol itself, and that will complete the formula. We hit enter, and that'll show that in January, $42.60 came in for HIO. Now this particular formula, because we reference columns and different cells, we can't straight copy it across or down. If we copy it across, we'll see that the columns moved, as well as this indication moved, and we don't want that cell to move. So let's undo that, and we're going to add some dollar signs to fix these positions. So we know that anything with a column, we don't want to move. So these are pure columns, so we're going to put dollar signs in front of D and the E's, and that'll keep those from moving, and then H. We don't want the column of H to move, oh sorry, we don't want the row to move for H. That would be this cell. So we don't want it to go down, we don't mind if it goes horizontal. And then C, we're going to lock in that, that column. And then G13, we're going to lock the column, but let it float on the row. And then we're going to hit enter. And now we should be able to copy across and down. Well, let's see if this worked. Now let's go across. Excellent. Well, we see in January that only one dividend was paid, and that was HIO. So these zeros, they're correct. Nothing else paid in that month. And we, if we spot check, like this $11.80, we see that that belonged to MYI in February. So these are correct. Now we can also sum, using a sum function, how much occurred on a monthly basis, and that'll be our total dividends for that month. And we already used a sum function per security. So we can see, if we were to copy that down, that these numbers match these numbers. And that is the sum ifs function.